Hey, Phantomaniacs, and welcome to my very first ever video toy review for NeedlessThingsSite.com. I said I would never do a toy review uh, on video. I don't like them. I don't have time to watch them. I want to read them. I don't have time to sit down and watch a video every time I want to see if a new toy is any good or not. However, uh, my current work situation has made it so that I cannot write the reviews like I used to write them. So it's time to try a new format, at least temporarily. So this summer is going to be the summer of the video toy review right here on Needless Things. The first thing I've got is one of the recent releases from MaddieCollector.com, Monsieur Mala and the Brain. I'm going to have to get used to how this camera works, and you will all get to experience right here with me. So anyway, Monsieur Mala and the Brain was the club exclusive figure for a DC Signature Series from Club Infinite Earths from MaddieCollector.com. Uh, a line of extremely overpriced specialized DC Universe figures and let's check it out I dig the packaging very much I like the window box it looks nice uh, DC signature collection right there on the top whatever it lets you know what it is on the back you've got a bio for Mala and the brain and a very nice artwork you'd think they'd want to credit whoever did that lovely artwork right there but they don't because they're Mattel so let's open it up, take a look inside, and see if this guy is any good. Now, I gotta tell you, this is the second take of this particular review. The first take just didn't look good, and also I ran out of memory, so that's terrible. Uh, so this is the second take, so it should be even better. You guys should be glad you didn't see the first take, which is where I found about a hundred rubber bands holding this guy in place. Uh, which is understandable because you know what you don't want this sitting on a retail shelf Somebody able to reach in and just yank it out of there except of course of the fact that you're never going to see this guy on a retail shelf Once you do remove those pesky clear rubber bands which any toy collector has about a thousand of laying around the house You see we've got Mala with his ammo belt Got the brain, and we've got a rifle. Uh, first glance, I've got to say, everything looks pretty good. I'm pretty excited to own this. Uh, I like gorillas, I like monkeys, so this guy, even without his history and without his character background, is pretty exciting for me. Uh, the brain is a brain in a jar, essentially. That's cool. Who doesn't like that? So, first glance, this is a good set. I'm pretty stoked. Uh, let's take a look at the sculpt. Now, we're going to call Mala by himself. This is our basic figure. He came with some stuff, but Mala is the main piece. He's got a hollow, hard plastic body. He's got ball jointed shoulders, a ball jointed head with a, you know, a pretty decent range of motion for somebody with a giant neck like that. And he's got swivels at the top of his biceps that work very well. He's got pivot elbows, and he's got swivel pivot wrists. Very nice. I like that they went the extra mile there and gave him the swivel pivot instead of just making him swivel. Uh, at the hips, you've got a really ugly cut joint right there. But, you know what? I can deal with that. I don't need this guy to have 87 points of articulation. Uh, his feet look like they're sort of an attempt at a rocker joint and they move side to side just a little bit but they swivel a whole lot and again you know what that's as much as I really need his feet to do so they did a really good job as far as the articulation goes uh, as far as the sculpt uh, he looks great this is a fantastic looking primate right here uh, he's got his hair is extremely detailed lots of different hair textures uh, longer hair on the arm with deeper sculpt uh, much shorter hair, finer hair on the body looks really good. Uh, his face is... I don't know how expressive a gorilla face really can be or needs to be, but I mean, he's a little soldierly looking. Kind of a, a gorilla soldier, if you will. I see what they did there! Ha! 
so anyway, uh, my wallet looks really great. It's, his beret is uh, it has a little bit of detail on the front there, and it just it looks good. It looks like it should look. They did a very good job of capturing this guy, uh, very much like what you saw in Young Justice or in the comics. Uh, paint wise, he's got a really good paint job. There's a bit of a wash over his brown fur. Uh, you can see, uh, perhaps best on the arm there, looks really, really good. Uh, his skin, uh, the exposed skin that he has, is that black leathery look that gorillas have. He's got shiny little toenails and fingernails, and inside his nostrils also has a glossy black coat. So they have a little bit more depth to them than they might otherwise. And then he's got his beady little gorilla eyes. I don't know if you can see them or not, but ah, that's nice. I like that. Uh, and then you've got a solid red up here on the beret. Uh, it looks good. It looks good. A little gold. You know, that's nothing. It's it's a disc. Doesn't signify anything, but I don't think he's with any particular army anyway, so we're good there. So uh, paint-wise, this guy looks pretty great. Solid job on that. Uh, accessories. He's got his ammo belt which is a little loose on him and waddles around a bit, but when he's sitting on the shelf, you're not even going to notice it. It's got a peg on the back that you can attach the rifle to, so we can store that, which is important to me. Storage is a big deal on figures. I like them to be able to hold everything that they come with. Uh, we've got a gold paint job on the bullets and then a brown on the strap. Good. What more do you need? And then the brain has this little eight track deck on the front uh, it's sculpted in there it's not a sticker or a paint job or anything and it does have well it is it does have paint on it you can see a few different colors of paint on the buttons and then the yellow on the slot there uh, I don't know what that's for but considering Mala and the brains relationship maybe we're better off not knowing uh, nicely sculpted skull face on the front and the brain is actually a plastic brain under a clear dome, which I really dig. Looks very cool. Uh, the brain itself is pink with some purple highlights on it. And I uh, really just, I, I like the metallic blue versus the metallic silver of the rest of the figure here. Uh, it's even got an extra little metallic blue ridge right around the bottom here just to give it that little bit more uh, definition. Uh, looks really good. That's, that's a good accessory. Matter of fact, uh, three accessories is a great count for a DC Signature Series figure. Uh, they're, they did a great job here. Everything fits on the guy really well. Like I said, the, the bandolier hangs a little bit loose, but I can live with that. I love the fact that the rifle plugs right onto the back there. And brain, bam, you can carry him around very nice and then on top of that unlike many action figures that I own this seems to be a, a, a bit of a, a syndrome lately if you will of characters not being able to interact with their accessories this guy can hold his gun and even look like he's about to blast somebody with it bandolier just loves going off the shoulder but uh, very nice very good job. All of his articulation is solid. Everything moves as much as it should move. There are no limitations, no stuck joints from paint, uh, no messed up paint on any of these pieces, which is nice. Everything stays within the lines. I like that very much. So this set, which ran for, I think it was 30 bucks, but then you've got to add shipping on top of that. But I will say, I would have paid 30 bucks for this at retail and been quite happy with it. This right here is going to sit on my shelf, and I'm going to be thrilled to have it. I've got to say, this is a 5. That's 10. What am I doing? This is a 5 out of 5 for NeedlessThingsSite.com's very first video toy review. How likely was that to happen, especially with something, something from Maddie Collector? Not very likely at all. Uh, Monster Mala and the Brain must have action figure set. I highly recommend you seek this thing out at either BigBadToyStore.com, go on eBay, see if maybe there's some crazy guy that subscribed and decided he didn't want this guy. I can't imagine that happening, but there's stranger things out there. But anyway, 
five out of five for right now. If you want to see more detailed pictures and get uh, just a couple more thoughts from Phantom Troublemaker, go to needlessthingssite.com. There's going to be a link right here to this review. So be sure and check it out. That's it for right now. I'll be back next time, and we'll see if we can get another 5 out of 5 from some Maddie products. Thanks a lot. Later. Needless, Needless. 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 Needless.